All right, everybody, welcome to the regular meeting of the um, Neshoba Regional School Committee. We are going to um, start with the Pledge of Allegiance and I will lead and the rest of you guys can mute and say it along with me. Oh, by the way, I'm calling it to order at 331. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So thank you all for attending this special meeting. We have a one item agenda and the first item on the agenda is the um, need to authorize our superintendent to sign the NRHS project funding agreement amendment. And it will require a motion and a vote. So um, this is because the superintendent, um, or rather any amendment shall require further school committee authorization and approval. So that's what we're here for. So I'm gonna take an amendment first and Ms. Cohen has it, and then we can open it for discussion if there is any. Uh, thank you. I move to authorize Superintendent Kirk Downing to sign and submit to the MSBA the first amendment to the project funding agreement between the Neshoba Regional School District and the Massachusetts School Building Authority. I'll second that. Thank you, Amy. Is there any discussion? Go ahead, Scott. So I understand that this is the MSBA just giving us another $15 million with the, on the assumption that costs have gone up due to a higher than expected, higher than usual inflation over the last few years. But it begs the question of, do we have to spend this extra 15 million? Like what is the, what's gonna happen here? This is a great question. Yeah. Um, maybe Kirk would like to yeah. address it. Good question, Mr. Powell. All this means is the participation with which the MSBA will contribute has increased by that 15 million. It is not tied to cost. It's not tied to any of those things. The funding formula just shifted after we had approved our project, and this is the MSBA's way of rectifying that. So nothing has changed in terms of the scope of the project, the cost of the project. It will simply be uh, more participation by the MSBA, which takes burden off of the taxpayers at the end of the project. Does okay, so, so just to clarify, the expectation is that the Neshoba taxpayers will pay less as a result of this, and the Massachusetts taxpayers will pay more. Correct. The, the estimated burden to the taxpayers for the total project at the conclusion of the project was $176 million. This will bring it down to approximately 162 Okay, thank you. I have a quick question for you all, and I think that um, this is probably to Kirk as well, but let's assume that what Scott is talking about, and that is that costs do escalate beyond what we've already built into the number. And I know that we were very... Um, we built in a very steep cost escalation into the final number. Yep. But let's say that, you know, in Stowe, we're seeing this with the library, that costs are just escalating. If the cost of the project goes higher, can we use this money to offset any of those escalation costs? Again, they're not connected at all. Okay. They're not connected in any way or form. It just means... But if the, project... the voters the voters have off authorized a two hundred and forty one million dollar project for which we are not to exceed. And as we participate along the way, uh, this changes the formula to the percentage of which the MSBA will participate. So the maximum additional grant will uh, receive is that supplemental grant. So it doesn't change any factors at all. All right, great. Thank and you. Leah, to your point, I don't think we can spend more on this building without getting voter approval again. Well, we they authorized 241, so we certainly could not spend more than that. They may not exceed 241 as authorized by the voters. Yeah. Right. Okay, so are there any further questions? Yeah, Madam Chair, I just want to make a quick comment. And we got what Paul just said, just so it's clear, you know, the monies that we receive from the MSBA, they don't necessarily come from the tax paying citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The MSBA generates its monies through a, um, it's a diversion of a percentage of the sales tax. So this includes any person walking the face of the earth who walks into our Commonwealth and purchases anything in which there is a sales tax. So we're not, it's not, we're not burdening the taxpayers necessarily, we're burdening the entire planet earth, so. <laughs> 
Oh, that makes me feel better. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Any other comments, questions? Amy, I see you're still at work. Well done. Um, so uh, I'm going to take the vote. I am going to start. I vote yes. Joe. Yes. Dana. Yes. Scott. Yes. Shondor. Yes. Amy Vessels. Yes. Sharon. Yes. Mike. Yes. And Amy. Yes. All right, everybody. That is uh, unanimous, and we appreciate you all being here. Um, if there is no other business, I'm going to move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. second. Amy Beach. <laughs> Let's take the vote. I vote yes. Joe. Yes. Dana. Yes. Yes. Scott. Sorry. Yes. Uh, Shondor. Yes. Amy Vessels. Yes. Sharon. Yes. Mike. Yes. Come back to us, Mike. Yes. <laughs> Amy. Yes. <laughs> Guys, your dedication to the Neshoba Public Schools is uh, unprecedented. Thanks for being here.